The venous malformations are a little different in that um, they generally are fully formed at birth, and so they don't go through this cycle of rapid proliferation, plateau, and So they grow and with the patient. And they grow with the patient. They grow proportional with the patient. So as the patient gets bigger, um, the, heat, the, limp, the venous malformation will get bigger as well. Um, depending upon their location, uh, they may become troublesome. If they're quite large, and particularly if they're in the lower extremity, because that's an area that's dependent, um, over time they can become um, painful because what a venous malformation is, it's a group of abnormal veins. They don't have the correct wall thickness, so they um, tend to pool the blood a little bit more than they should. Um, so if it's in an area that's uh, not dependent, um, then it's not as much of a problem. Um, but they can become painful. Sometimes they get little clots in them. Uh, fortunately, it's rare for those to move anywhere or to be dangerous, mm -hmm. uh, but that can cause pain. And when we see those patients, again, depending upon their symptoms, um, one of our, our initial treatments is compression garments to give those abnormal veins some support, particularly if it's in the, in the lower extremities. Um, but... Uh, again, depending on how symptomatic they are, they can be treated with a technique called sclerotherapy, which is done by our interventional radiologist. And um, it's very similar to the treatment for varicose veins. It's basically under general anesthesia, injecting something into the abnormal veins to shrink them. So not all patients with venous malformations need that. Um, but if they're large and they're symptomatic, then that's our recommended treatment.